Hello, and welcome to another Super 3 Boy Blender tutorial. Now today, uh, we're going to learn how to make a kind of bullet time effect like you've seen in the movie The Matrix. Um, this was suggested by one of the users on form.nistic.com in the Blender 3D category section, and I have a topic specifically uh, for people requesting tutorials and for people who message me on YouTube or are asking for a tutorial I'm not gonna do it unless it's in that topic on this like that's where I get all my ideas from so if you want a uh, tutorial made uh, just go to forum.nistic.com and post in that topic also you can go to forum.nistic.com if you have any questions I'm gonna go kinda fast on this tutorial and if you just want to show off your completed uh, project. So let's go ahead and get started uh, with this tutorial because we have lots to cover. So we start off in Blender with our default cube. Just get rid of that. Okay, so with our default cube go gone, we hit space, add mesh plane. And we just kind of scale it up. That seems good enough to me. Now we go into front view. And what we're going to do, we're going to add a cube. Um, and hit the Z key for wireframe mode so we can see our plane below. Scale down that cube a bit. Let's zoom in here. And using the G key, kind of bring it down near to the plane. As near as you can there. Okay, now we're going to make this into a physics object and act so you just go to the actor tab actor dynamics rigid body you see that little thing up here then we're just going to duplicate with shift D go up let's make a couple of cubes make sure they're not overlapping so now if we hit the P key to preview this they should just all fall apart like that Perfect. So after we do that, uh, we want to go to game, record physic, game physics to IPO, and hit the P key again. I'll do it all over again. Okay, cool. So as you can see, as I um, hit my arrow keys, you can see the frames advancing and the cubes falling. So a good point, I'd say, is about frame 40 here seems good enough and that's where we're actually going to stop uh, the action so we're gonna go up to animation gonna change our view it said uh, model and you go up there hit that little button and choose animation and we can see your little IPO editor here uh, complex stuff uh, we're not gonna go over the IPO editor today but um, we have our cubes uh, you can see this cube fro frozen in uh, mid animation and basically we're going to stop it for about 50 frames so what we do uh, we take that uh, cube it's selected and make sure it's on 40 frames and we go over here to our IPO editor we see this green bar that's the current frame so what we're going to do we're going to hit the K key hit the A key to deselect all and these are little vertices kind of things um, like in vertex mode uh, in the regular model window so we have all these uh, lines here. And basically we want to take from that green line and we want to use the B key to select everything after that. All the frames and all the actions after that. So I've selected all those things there. Hit the G key. You can move the iPod editor just like a regular vertice. Uh, type in 50. And then uh, you see that little gap there, and that's a pause in the animation. So if I go back here to frame 1, and I play this animation for you, you can see how it stops at frame 40, and then keeps on going. So now we have to quickly do this. Um, do this to all, all the cubes. So at frame 40, uh, take this one, hit the K key, A, find that little green line. Looks like it's about right there. Uh, deselect everything, the A, select everything with that B key, okay, G, 50, I'm just going to do this for all the frames here, to 
just bear with me as I select it. Um, I'm just quickly doing this. If you're actually doing an actual animation, you might want to uh, be sure you're not hitting a frame before or after. Whoops. Select the cube there. Go here in the IPO editor. 50. Cube. K. A. Looked like it was about there. There's the. Okay, got that one. G key 50. And the last one. Remember, it's on frame 40. K, A. Find that little green line. Zoom out. I'm just zooming out with my uh, uh, mouse wheel. G key 50. So if we go back here, we can now see. Uh, the animation, I'm just going to select something else, like the plane there. Zoom out a bit. Uh, go back. I'm just using my arrow keys to navigate through the flame frames. Um, Alt-A. And see, it just pauses. Mid-animation, and it keeps on going. So what we want to do, we have the stop effect. Now we want to do the camera rotate effect. Um, so what we do, we go to top view. Let's go back to model view to make this a little bit easier on us. Um top view we add a circle move this over to the center we rotate it, I mean we size it up till it's touching the camera rotate it so a vertice is near the camera base then we're going to parent the camera to uh, the circle I just selected both of them then control P make parent so now when we rotate the circle, the camera will rotate along with it. So what we want to do is we're in frame, uh, we want to go to frame 40. And go back to the animation view so we can see this all. And then what we need to do, uh, at frame 40, actually at frame 0 or frame 1, hit I, location, rotation, scale and then we go up to frame 40 and just do the same thing and that just uh, tells the uh, animator okay it's at that position at that time and then we go up uh, 10 frames hit rotation 90 location rotation scale and just we do the same for all okay, so I'm just rotating 90 degrees each We have to uh, advance the frames before we do the rotation. And that should be our completed thing here. So we go back into model view. We go view, sorry, camera. And as you can see, that's a little big there, so. Um, let's take the camera, move it up a bit, so you can kind of see everything. This is just roughly done. So if we go back to frame 1, hit Alt-A, pause, rotate, and continue. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.